to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma tj dillashaw's coming out ahead of his ufc 217 co-main event title fight at madison square garden and addressing the accusations by former teammate cody garbrandt and the current bantamweight champion he's addressing the accusations by Cody Garbrandt and Uriah Faber that he ended teammate Chris Holdsworth's career at, just from being mad that he got submitted. They said he got he was mad that he got submitted, so he threw some like illegal knees to the back of Chris Holdsworth's head and it ended up ending his career. And it's like, damn, that's hell of accusations. And they've also, you know, they've said a lot of things kind of about the sparring with TJ Dillashaw. You know, they're pretty pissed off that he left the team. He was the champion at one point and he left their team and they feel like he was a traitor and he turned on them and, you know, jumped ship and went to a different, different training camp and shit. So he, they were pissed off that he left the team. So they've been saying a lot of shit. There's a hell of a rivalry here. They had a whole ultimate fighter season where, you know, they got into a couple physical altercations. There was a lot of back and forth there. But these guys really don't like each other and they're former teammates, so there's a lot of shit going around. And, and in that, Cody Garbrandt and Team Alpha Male, you know, they've been a little vocal and they've said things like Cody Garbrandt knocked TJ Dillashaw out and they have a video in sparring, which has never been released to the public. They've also said he's in, he was ending teammates' careers. You know, they're coming out there and they're throwing a lot of dirt on TJ Dillashaw's name. And if it's not true, that's kind of fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But TJ Dillashaw's coming out and he's denying it. But it, if it is true, that's also fucked up. If TJ Dillashaw's fucking, you know, ending teammates' careers. But TJ Dillashaw's denying that. And this is what he's saying. It actually does make sense. And some of you guys might remember. I mean, I, I wasn't too fond of, you know, accusing somebody of. If it's not true, you shouldn't accuse somebody of ending a teammate's career. But this is what TJ Dillashaw had to say. They said I got submitted by Chris Holdsworth and then kneed him in the back of the head while he was grounded in after the round, whatever it may be. So you're telling me I'm kneeing people in the back of the head between rounds and ruining their careers, but you want me to stay on your team? You're not going to kick me off the team? You led the fight for me to stay on your team and you're angry that I left, so how does that make any sense whatsoever? If I'm a loose cannon like that, how would that make any sense whatsoever? How would you be angry at me for leaving? If that was the case, if I was doing these kind of things, I should have been kicked off the team instantly. There's no way I sh that would be something that is acceptable. Have I been overly aggressive in some sparring sessions? Yes, I have. There's things, there's punches and things I've thrown that's been too aggressive and I've gotten to where I've had to tell myself yeah, I shouldn't have done that kind of thing. But I've never blatantly or deliberately need someone in the back of the head and tried to end their career. I've gotten too aggressive in sparring, which we all have. I got thrown into the lion's den when I got to Alpha Male. My first sparring session was with Joe ben Benavidez, Chad Mendez, and those guys. Just bleeding from my face. It's not like they took it easy on me. It was one of those things where we sparred three to four days a week and we got thrown in there and that's what made me as tough as I am. And that's that sounds, you know, a lot more believable to me. To me. You know, when it, and he had a good point there. I mean, if, if I'm ending our teammates' careers, you guys shouldn't be so pissed off that I left for one. For one, you should have wanted me out. For two, if if I chose to leave, you should have been happy that I'm gone so I'm not ending nobody else's career. And you know what I'm saying? They're, they wouldn't be so pissed off at me for leaving if that was true. And the, the, he, he makes a point there. And he also revealed that he got, you know, he was fighting some of the best guys in the world as soon as he got the team alpha male. So... And also in that, he said, yes, I do train a little too hard, but honestly, that's that's not a problem. Some guys, that if, you, if, you're, if you're taking it easy and fucking sparring every day, every time you're in training and you're taking it easy, you never turn it up, you're never fucking in there envisioning getting the belt and take turning you know trying to you know what i'm saying you got to have some intensity some days so some guys probably have a little too much intensity some days and he i think in this interview with ariel hawani he might have even said yeah you know it i've did some or he said here you know i've did some things i regret or whatever but we all have and so i get that point now ending careers that's a whole nother level and i don't think he did that need someone in the back of the head and tried to end their career i mean you can you can take whatever side you want on that one, but this is going to be a good fight. I know that because it, if it's not true, that's got to make T.J. Dillashaw that more pissed off. For one, they're you know they're really trying to ruin his fucking name, throwing dirt on his name. What's that shit called? I can't think of it off the top of my head. Tarnish his reputation, and vice versa. 
if it is true, <laughs> this, if it is true, T.J. Dillashaw is a motherfucking like, I don't know, an actor or snake extraordinaire. This motherfucker's got the straight face and he's just really ending niggas' careers. <laughs> no, I don't think that's going on. But if it is true, Cody Garbrandt, I mean, either way, Cody Garbrandt and Team Alpha Male are pissed off. Either way, they want to fucking see Cody Garbrandt knock out T.J. Dillashaw. Whether they're mad they left the team or whether they're mad that he's ending teammates' careers, they're mad. And motherfucking Team Alpha Male is mad, man. If you didn't watch that Ultimate Fighter season, it was one of the best in a while. One of the only ones I've actually watched in a while. Because uh, the coaches had that rivalry. It was Cody Garbrandt and TJ Dillashaw, man. The, it, I wish I had the clip, but I don't have that actual clip of fucking... I need to find that one while I'm doing all these... You know, upgrading the channel and getting all these clips in where he fucking lashed up TJ Dillashaw. <laughs> that shit was kind of crazy, man. But um, good fight. It's it's in about a week and a half at UFC 217 Madison Square Garden main event. George St. Pierre and Michael Bisping. Three title fights on the card. You want to get Jacek's fighting Rose Nama Yunus, but we've also got my fight of the night, Jorge Masvidal versus Steven Wonderboy Thompson. There's one other card on the main card, and I believe it's Johnny Hendricks versus Paulo Barachinha. Hey, we got George St. Pierre and Johnny Hendricks on the same card. That's interesting. Um, gonna see, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with a lot of these fights. And that's not even counting the other, you know, that's all just the pay-per-view. That's not even counting the rest of the card. Gonna be a great day of fights. But Cody Garbrandt, TJ Dillashaw, it is what it is, man. Let the full-time family know what you tell me in the comments. I'm out. Bye, Felicia.